sports partner. Now talking about culture and tradition, the tales of the legendary Nab Nabongo Mumia of the Wanga tribe are etched in a cultural center and mausoleum nestled in the outskirts of Mumia's town, Kakamega County. So tonight on our segment, My Culture, our reporter Jacqueline Wambiru uh, goes back into history to understand why Nabongo remains an iconic king in the rich history of the Wanga tribe that puts a cup on Mata's Easy Friday tonight. I'm Regina Manyara. Enjoy. This is the Nabongo Cultural Center and Mausoleum. This center preserves the legacy of arguably Kenya's sole surviving kingdom. It is neatly tucked at Matunga Market in the outskirts of Mumia's town, Kakamega County. The building houses the rich culture of the Wanga Kingdom, which dates back to the 11th century. He did this as this only kingdom in Kenya, and he wanted all the Kenyan custodian or the Kenyan citizen to learn the culture of the Wangan community, with the reference knowing that this is the only kingdom which was built by the king. This is the only community which was built by the king. Inside the building is a display of cultural artifacts and literature that would do more than excite history students. The artifacts date back to as early as 1883. Among them is a three-legged king's chair, traditional weapons like arrows and bows, currency, complete with arte worn by the king. Which has been improvised with a modern cup to take water or porridge. Without today, you have the pans which were made from the clay soil. Those were the pots used to cook different types of food. These are the ancient straws. This one they has a hollow path beneath them, which allow the native beer to pass it through as they suck by the far ends. We have the one after that in little time, the one who is reading, this is a modernized person. This was done during the reign of Nabongo the legendary where similar quads, which they used to ferment milk, and from that milk they could obtain the ghee fats, which was used to cook and also to other activity. Same, same quad, it can be split into two equal parts and we will acquire the calabash, which is the ancient cup. The outfit is reportedly made from Columbus monkey and leopard skins. Also, on display is one of the games played as a pastime known as a jewel. The mausoleum within the center holds the remains of four kings who ruled at different times, Wamukoya, Shiundu, Mumia and Shitawa. This site attracts history enthusiasts, especially students and researchers eager to learn about the Wanga Kingdom's tradition. A highlight of the center is this replica of a traditional village. This section is reserved for the elders who would often gather to discuss issues affecting the communities. The discussions go on as they enjoy the traditional brew. The Nabongo Cultural Center and Mausoleum not only preserves the history of Western Kenya, but also serves as a cultural beacon for the entire East African region and beyond. With our guide, Oliver Kerr, we continue to explore the treasures and venture into the mausoleum. Here, visitors are welcomed with a detailed genealogy of Mwanga III, tracing his lineage through Kabiala, Murono, Mutende, Wanga, Wamoi, Wekoba, Mugoya, and Sakwa. And from that Here, artifact sword range from calabashes, arrows and bows, to currency, traditional goods and the Ajo game, as well as drinking straws used for native beer. Community whereby the social community can make the reeds, reeds and palm leaves to, to make a tray, the ancient tray. This one was used to serve food on high table. Uh, economic activities which these people used to do during their lifetime. They could hunt using the earth. As a community, they used the black iron ore to make tools. Some of the tools were the hope. 
who were used for farming activity and you have this bell which was laid around the net for a bull for identification of somebody's heads. We have the precious stones which were implied in a pot containing water so that to keep the water cool. The walls are adorned with pictures of leaders who visited the king at his cultural hub. One notable artifact is a pyramid-shaped copper-coated gift which His Majesty the King received during his visit to the Baake Kingdom in Congo. The Nabongo Cultural Center and Mausoleum is a treasure trove of historical and cultural knowledge offering a glimpse into the vibrant past of the Wanga Kingdom. important for His Royal Majesty to restore this artifacts in this his own museum it was to let the First, the Wanga community custodians, the young custodians, to come and learn their culture, which their forefathers were used to pass through in their own lifetime. Jackie Wambiru, My Culture.